Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. The Netherlands has reached an agreement with the United States on the restriction of DUV lithography machines. Although this is not the original intention of the Netherlands, the decision was made by the Netherlands itself, and there is no turning back. However, the Netherlands does not intend to lose the Chinese market and needs to continue to expand the layout of the Chinese market. In this regard, the Netherlands took action. The foreign minister of the country met with high-level Chinese officials and expressed that it is necessary to actively seek contact with China. China is the priority partner of the Netherlands. In addition, the two major lithography machine giants in the Netherlands have announced that they are positive about the Chinese market. Foreign Media China Chip Cannot Stop It The Netherlands has maintained long-term trade relations with China. According to official data, the total trade volume between China and the Netherlands will reach 868.4 billion yuan in 2022. Specifically, China imported goods worth 83.5 billion yuan from the Netherlands, and the total trade volume imported by the Netherlands from China was 784.9 billion. The Netherlands is also China's largest investment destination country in the EU. No matter how you look at it, the Netherlands should maintain a close cooperative relationship with China. China has a very large trade surplus with the Netherlands, which means that the Netherlands is extremely dependent on Chinese goods. Although China is also inseparable from Dutch lithography machines, relatively speaking, China has a greater say in trade cooperation. The Netherlands also understands the importance of the Chinese market. In order to stabilize the cooperation in the Chinese market, the Netherlands made a move. In late May, Dutch Foreign Minister Hoekstra met with high-level Chinese officials. The other party said that it is necessary for the Netherlands to actively seek contact with China, a major economic power, and that China is the priority partner of the Netherlands. This fully demonstrates the willingness of the Netherlands to actively promote Chinese trading partners. Of course, the Netherlands also emphasizes that the chip export controls implemented are not aimed at any country. At the end of March this year, Dutch lithography machine manufacturer ASML disclosed the agreement between the Netherlands, the United States and Japan, confirming that the Netherlands will implement export controls on DUV lithography machines. Anyone with a discerning eye knows that the Netherlands is following in the footsteps of the United States and restricting the development of China's semiconductors. But the Netherlands does not want to offend the Chinese market, pointing out that export control is not aimed at any country is obviously to eliminate misunderstandings and does not want to cause grievances in China. In addition, the two Dutch lithography machine giants have also expressed their views. The first is ASML. The company said that other customers are reducing demand, and it can ship more lithography machines to the Chinese market in the second half of this year. ASML also analyzed the scope of the Netherlands' restrictions on the shipment of DUV lithography machines to customers. Not all DUV lithography machines will be restricted. Twinscan NXT, 1980 DI and below process DUV lithography machines can still continue to be shipped to meet the needs of Chinese customers. The need to manufacture mature chips. Secondly, the Dutch lithography machine supplier giant KMWE also officially announced the establishment of a factory in China, so as to circumvent the U.S. technology export restrictions and produce products exclusively for the Chinese market. 
KMWE is a Dutch precision parts giant and an important partner of ASML in the lithography machine supply chain. The lithography machine parts produced include mask frame, wafer transfer system, lens assembly and so on. China is stepping up the manufacturing layout of domestic lithography machines. Although it is domestic equipment, it still cannot do without the cooperation of foreign suppliers. KMWE can build factories in China to produce lithography machine parts and components, which is undoubtedly what China needs. On the one hand, ASML ships more lithography machines to China. And on the other hand, KMWE builds factories in China to avoid restrictions. These two giants in the lithography machine industry chain continue to increase their weight in the Chinese market. Coupled with the Dutch official cooperation statement, the future development of Dutch companies in the Chinese market will basically pave the way. As the saying goes, don't hit a smiling person with your hand. If others ask for cooperation, there is naturally no reason to reject them. Even if it is known that the Netherlands has reached an agreement with the United States, Chinese domestic manufacturers will still purchase the products of the other party when the other party frequently expresses goodwill. This is exactly what the Netherlands hopes to see. Of course, Cooperation is one aspect. On the other hand, the country must step up the research and development of core technologies to ensure the controllability of core technologies while cooperating. Some foreign media said that China chip cannot stop it, and many giants in the domestic lithography machine industry chain are stepping up their deployment. For example, Huajua Jinka is deeply involved in the technology of dual workpiece stages, Kui Hongyuan participates in the research and development of optical products, and Beijing Guowang is responsible for the layout of the objective lens system. There is also Shanghai Microelectronics for the design and overall integration of the lithography machine. These Chinese companies are all increasing their layout. Even if they maintain cooperation with foreign suppliers, they have not stopped. However, China's lithography machines still have a certain distance from the world's first class level, and they still need to continue to work hard. In this process, cooperation with upstream and downstream enterprises can be strengthened to jointly promote the development of the entire industry. Attention should also be paid to talents. The lithography machine industry needs the support of high-quality and high-skilled talents, and the government and enterprises need to strengthen the training and introduction of talents. Lithography machines are very complex semiconductor equipment, and they cannot be completed overnight. However, Chinese manufacturers have no intention of giving up. I believe that with continuous efforts, they can break the ice of key technologies and break the monopoly of foreign markets. If you agree with the point of view of this video, please like it, welcome to forward, leave a message and share.